following question reads that a uniform rectangular board is supported by a frictionless pivot at its center point so there's a uniform board uh, this is the uniform board and it's supported by a f uh, by a frictionless pivot so there's a pivot right at the center of the board question then reads that two forces act in the plane of the board uh, force F acts at a corner Q and force 2.5 uh, F acts at corner R. So the two forces acting, uh, one is trying to move the board uh, in this direction, the other one is trying to move the board in this particular direction. The perpendicular distance between the line of action of force F and point P is 20 centimeters. So F is 20 centimeters perpendicular distance from point uh, po from the pivot. Uh, for F is 20 centimeters. Uh, and the question then reads uh, also reads that the board is in equilibrium so what is the area of the board now for the board to be in equilibrium that means uh, that uh, uh, there's not going to be any net resultant force plus there's uh, not going to be any net moment uh, if you look at force F force F is trying to uh, rotate the board in a clockwise direction and force uh, well, the 2.5 F force over here and the force uh, the F uh, force over here at point Q is trying to rotate the board in an anti-clockwise fashion so this is the anti-clockwise moment and the other one the other one is the clockwise moment uh, I can put a value on the anti-clockwise moment. It's uh, it's the force uh, and the perpendicular distance from the pivot. So it's going to be 20 centimeters multiplied by F. Uh, I can now over here the perpendicular distance of this force over here. The perpendicular distance would be from the pivot would be this. So the force is F is uh, the force 2.5 F is acting in this particular direction. This is the line of action and uh, the perpendicular distance would be this value over here which i'm not sure which i don't know what the value is so let's call that x so my clockwise moment would be 2.5 force uh, multiplied by the perpendicular distance which is coming out to be x so that's 2.5 into x centimeters and for the for the whole uh, car to be in equilibrium the two moments are going to cancel out and there should be there should be no net moment what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them equal. So it's going to become uh, it's going to become 20 multiplied by F, which would be equal to 2.5 F. I missed an F over here because there was an F as well. So it's going to be 2.5 F multiplied by X. And if I try and solve this, F is going to get cancelled out. And if I solve for x, is x would come out to be uh, equal to, it's going to come out to be equal to 20 divided by 2.5, which is going to give me 8 centimeters. So that means x over here is going to be 8 centimeters, which basically means that if I double that, uh, the length or the height of this uh, uh, cardboard is going to be 16 centimeters. And if I double this uh, 20 centimeters, if I double that, uh, the width would come out to be 40 centimeters. So I have the I have the length and the breadth, and I can find area now. Area would be uh, length into breadth, and it's going to be 40 into 16. Final answer for area, if I do this on my calculator, it's going to come out to be 640 centimeters square. So the correct answer is going to be option C for this answer.